Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Indeed, amazing art. By uh, somebody called... J just... Just Miss... Just Miss Sart. I think. Something like that. Um, keep an eye out for them. They're very good. Uh, hello, how are we all doing? Hopefully the audio setup is fine. Um, because I had to move a lot of things around last time. And I now had to move them all back. And they hopefully should be working. Um, audio is good. Okay, might be a bit loud maybe. Turn that down slightly. Keep triggering the compressor. Um, maybe... No, it's a bit too quiet now. It's so finicky. Um, right. Hello. Um, the music's quite quiet, um, because it's always up and down. Music is as ever, courtesy of Adrian von Ziegler. I should probably have a command in chat so that their music... A, a link to their music pops up every now and then. Um, well worth a recommendation. You should listen. They've got a lot of stuff on YouTube. You should listen to them. Um, yeah. And they're all free to use on things like YouTube, non-profit sort of stuff like this. Um, because Adrian is a very kind of person. Uh, yeah. Hello, welcome. I'm a bit low energy today. I think like, yesterday's stream took a lot out of me. Um, I'm not used to, you know, getting nervous and having a, all that kind of performance adrenaline and stuff like that. So today's been a very lethargic day. Um, but we're here. Here we are. We are indeed. And I've done a couple of things. Bits and bobs. Um, oh, also, Miss, thank you. I forgot to mention in a uh, thing. Uh, thank you very much, Miss, for um, buying my album and leaving a very kind message. That was very nice of you. Thank you very much. Um, so, oh, I'll keep... The other thing I wanted to do this stream was to stop saying um, because I, I listened back to some of my streams and... It got to the point where I was saying um twice every sentence, which is astonishing. Hello, Plamps, how you doing? So I'm doing my best to be more comfortable with, like, dead air rather than just saying um habitually. Miss being an amazing person. That is true, indeed. Did How was your um first day at work? I know the, the morning was uh, relatively relaxed, but I uh, don't know about the rest. Um, stop, ah, stop me. Right. Well, I'm awaiting a response to that because it seems possibly mixes a little bit high on the uh, the latency today. Um, let's move over to the doodling screen, which should be there. There it is. And chat and all these other things. I've done a couple of bits and bobs um, this morning. One of which being I have made the overlay immediate. Um, I'm expecting that to break in some way, but it should be... Um, you know, not... I shouldn't have to refresh everything every time I make an update. So, for example, if I were just to get rid of our sword very briefly, save that, then it should, within five seconds, there it goes, it's updated. Um, I also added some swooshes. So, for example, if we look at our stamina, which is currently at 14, if I turn that into one, it'll... It slides down. Look at that, that's cool. Um, that was relatively simple. CSS is nice like that. Um... So the delay is huge because it's an extreme effort for your brain to put words together right now. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. It was fine. Easy peasy. Good, good. Um, hopefully this is a little bit more relaxed than your previous situations and much kinder to you as you deserve. We'll see. We hope. Um, and if not, there will be retaliation from us, I'm sure. Aesthetic. I know, yeah. Well, I, I realised that would be once I got the... It's all JavaScript, it's complicated. Um, well, it's not that complicated, but... It's surprising how, in the name of security, how little you can make two pieces of saved data communicate with each other. So, trying to get this to work and update in real time is tricky. But I got it, so... You just woke up apparently... Because apparently you fell asleep. Oh wow, that's interesting. That was... What? Five minutes? <laughs> five minutes of sleep? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, so yeah, Forest of Doom. That's that's all I've done, by the way. I've just updated those two things. So now I don't have to refresh every time I update our UI and the smooth bar movement. And also, this is the first thing I drew today, as you may or may not be aware. I feel like I should have that on a t-shirt, but uh, here we are. So, where were we? We were here, if you remember correctly. Or I suppose sort of more, more appropriately... Uh, here. 
um, I feel like this is rather more reflective of what the author envisaged um, <laughs> compared to this. But there we go. We're fighting, uh, well, I presume we're fighting. It's up to you, I suppose. Um, we have just encountered a werewolf at the bottom of a waterfall. We have a uh, ribbit with us. We came, if I remember correctly, the itinerary of last stream was that we started off at a building with that was made of just solid stone and had a small keyhole. We couldn't get into that, so we went south, destroyed another building by trying to break a vase. Uh, found Sir Ribbit there, who is now our companion. Indifferent, seemingly, but nonetheless present. We then... What did we do then? We plucked a sword from a stone, magical sword. Um, the magical sword of Jim. You can see their name on it. Which increases our skill value. Uh, we then got into a little bit of a kerfuffle with a bear trapper and subsequently found our were-dog friend at the bottom of a waterfall. Um, we have achieved the level 1 to level 100 meme indeed, yes. Uh, is the inventory not working? That should be working. Why is that not working? Hmm. Why, why does inventory not work? Oh, because I've moved the file. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In my effort to make one thing work, I broke another thing. <laughs> um, hang on, I can just... It's a bit messy, but it's... it's. There you go. <laughs> just copy and pasted it. <laughs> There's our inventory. Um, if you wanted to know. So, yes. Um, I suppose, what would you like to do? Let's start a vote. You're welcome. Just um, shout at me if you want to see the inventory and remind me to fix it later on. Because it's not difficult to do. I just literally have to change uh, the source I'm looking at to get the information to regurgitate the inventory. I just haven't done that. So yes, we are we are encountering a werewolf. Uh, it's dark outside. There is a cave beneath the waterfall, but we wouldn't be able to see anything inside it because our torch was extinguished by the waterfall. As it's dark at the moment. We have one vote, and that is for their wolf. It's gonna focus. Focus all was important here. Yeah. You guys are adopting things. I was gonna add ribbit, wasn't I? I was gonna add them to the to the inventory thing. Have a pet slot, I believe was the uh, <laughs> the instruction. Forgot to do that. Um, that's your contribution to the stream. You well so far, you're the only one to have voted. So apparently we're going to do their wolf. You're going into full lurk mode? Have have an enjoyable lurk. Everybody is welcome to lurk when they wish. Um, the default obviously here is to fight the werewolf. You're more than welcome to do that if you desire. Killing the werewolf would be the easiest thing to do, but on the other hand you don't want to kill the werewolf. I mean, yeah, sometimes you've got to make difficult choices. Do you want to do the easy thing, or do you want to do the, uh, something else which is not necessarily the easy thing that I can't think of at the moment? I also know that we've deviated quite far from the plan of the book at this point, because you're not supposed to encounter this werewolf at the bottom of a waterfall, but it's not far away. So I need to find the werewolf, just in case you do decide to find it. Uh, it does have a picture in the book, and it looks somewhere in between what I drew and what Miss... Actually, no, it's sort of... I kind of want to show you this picture, because it's its just a hairy guy with big teeth. <laughs> it's not really a wolf. <laughs> but anyway. Also, it kind of looks like it's got that sort of um, Emily style, where uh, sort of very symmetrical sort of look to it. Not, not the Pokemon that they do, but their other drawings. What's the rule with werewolves and silver again? Is our necklace made out of silver? Uh, yes. I think so, yeah. I think it is a silver necklace. So like your brother. <laughs> Does your brother have sharp teeth? I'd just like to say at the moment, two votes are leading for throw stick to distract werewolves dog nature. I'm not entirely sure where you plan to find a stick at the bottom of a waterfall. 
It hurts them a lot. Okay. I'm just going to smack him in the face with a silver amulet. I, I assume that you have to in some way inflict some sort of wound with the silver in order for it to occur. I'm going to try and garrot it with a necklace. <laughs> you think it would break. You'd also have to get into the position to garrot something which is twice as tall as you. You're quite small. Garroting is difficult. I suppose you can jump. I imagine Pal's got a bit of a... Some strong legs. We have an arrow which is essentially a fancy stick. True. It was it was bad at cutting rope. Maybe it's good at uh, distracting a werewolf. Silver isn't like a cross versus vampire. Yeah, it's not just... Oh, you have silver on you. I can't go near. Actually, wasn't silver... Silver was supposed to be something to do with... It was vampires originally, wasn't it? And then it turned into werewolves that didn't like silver because it was like... Some, it was something to do with Judas because of the crossing palms with silver and stuff like that. Mm, I don't know. Follows true blood rules. I don't know what that means. Silver is supposed to bypass the werewolf's supernatural toughness. Eh, so it make the fight easier. Possibly. Maybe. I'm just making that up. Although I will allow it. <laughs> but I don't... I, you know, unless you uh, convince me otherwise... You, you'll have to explain how you intend to take down a werewolf with a silver necklace. Let's go back to looking at this scene. I still haven't drawn anything. Um, so what have we got? We took two votes for use silver necklace to repel werewolf and protect Sir Ribbit. One for werewolf. Uh, one for throw stick to distract werewolf's true dog nature. Not, not true, but uh, I threw that in. Uh, one for stab a beach. And we have, uh, one of the votes has gone down to throw the wooden arrow, we have to distract the werewolf, grab Sir Ribbit, and cheese it. Um, so, so far, two for throwing a stick, uh, one for silver, one for stabbing, just in general, and one for their wolf, whatever that means. <laughs> also, alas, I have, I have auto-capitalized all of your votes. You're wild. <laughs> Love it. Silver and iron are the two most common anti-monster anti metals. I mean, iron does a pretty good job of getting rid of most things. If you sharpen it enough. I don't know quite how strong silver is on its own. <laughs> Alexine tries vote change. <laughs> don't know who did their wolf, but you appreciate you greatly. That was Oops. That was the first vote we got. Okay, so it seems like we're on course to throw the arrow slash stick. Uh, we are not yet um, aware of what to do th thenceforth, but I can at least sort of go through what would happen. Um, the werewolf is running towards you on this slippery surface, surprisingly adept um, and not falling off. You throw the stick, or you get the arrow out of your bag, or Pal gets the arrow out of their satchel, um, and throws it right past the werewolf's head. The werewolf is momentarily distracted and turns around. Um, so the threat is not immediately apparent right now. What do you want to do from there? Because that was not decided upon. You have thrown the stick. You have momentarily distracted the werewolf. What do you want to do? And by throwing the stick, I mean arrow. And by arrow, I mean... Look at that, it disappeared from the infantry. <laughs> it works! I suppose I can vaguely draw this while you're trying to work out what to do. Uh, drawing's hard. Got to draw the werewolf again. He hadn't thought this far ahead. Look, you've, you've got a few seconds. What are you going to do? Or however long it's going to take the uh, the werewolf to realise.
Hope you're getting the impression here that it's sort of turning their head. And like... Of course I decided to do some sort of dynamic perspective based pose. To start the stream off, but here we are. Um... What am I doing? to me do I don't know Uh, what, also, you know the conversation is passed on the stream, but you wanted to say I think it's only silver bullets in law, but you don't know if normal silver does that too. I imagine it's something like the silver needs to pierce the heart or something along those lines. Um, and it's easy to do that with a bullet. But I don't know. So anyway, but since I'm not paying attention to this because I decided to draw something needlessly complicated, um, how's everybody's day been going? Is it all good? I will, I will catch up with these things momentarily and I would like to know that my friends are having a good day. How how did how to throw? Say what? Rob Liefeld. Um, a bit sick but better. You trying to draw? Fantastic. I look forward to seeing what you want to draw. Because this is going excellently. Yeah, that kind of works. Does that make sense? I don't know. Just keep it simple. Uh, at least I know what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> Which is more than can be said for yesterday's stream. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with like music streams and stuff. I don't think they're going to be regular occurrences because it's sort of improvised music is tricky, and I'd like to do stuff where I interact with you guys. So going in knowing exactly what I want to do is just basically going to be me making music, and that's not the kind of stream I want to do. Normal silver would burn, but yeah, it needs to be fashioned into something that could cut or pierce to do any lasting damage. Silver swords are meant to be plated, or compounds as pure silver is soft. Oh, all compounds as pure silver is soft, and would be blunt after a few swings. I mean, a few swings would do, do the job for one of them, surely. Um, so yeah, I don't know precisely sort of what to do for, for music streams in future, but... Uh, yeah, and it did, did rather take a lot out of me, but...
Is that your throw? You throw one, le one leg out? That's normal, right? <laughs> whatever, whatever. What's going on? It's dynamic. Who cares? Um, there's a strap or something like that. All right, what do we got? We have two votes for hide behind waterfall to hide scent. One for hide behind waterfall. Um, one for hid in the cave behind tear waterfall. Um, and one for commit seppuku. Who was that? <laughs> uh, you're the only one putting pressure on yourself. That is true. Doesn't mean it's any less real. <clears throat> um, in the spirit of making things too complicated, it could take a while till draw is done. Well, nonetheless. Um, th there was cool stuff in the art you posted in uh, Discord before. I like that. I didn't have time to respond to it. Sorry for the late start, by the way. I was chatting with my dad and time got lost. All the Warhammer RPGs feature this stuff a lot, so you read up on it. It's real life inspiration a lot. Mm. On its real life inspiration a lot. Yes, cool. And to love you like we love you. I mean, that's tricky because I'm with me every single minute of the day. Don't enjoy doing the music streams, you don't want to do it. It's just, it's the first one I ever did. It's going to feel a bit awkward the first time. I'd like to do more in the future, but I'd like to kind of have a plan, but at the same time, kind of not. It's it's not fun if I know exactly what I'm going to do, but at the same time, I don't want to just sit around for 15 minutes trying out instruments and going, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, etc, etc. Uh, so, okay. Generally speaking, people want to hide in a waterfall. So, you pal... Whilst the uh, werewolf, this thing, is distracted, um, Pal grabs Sir Ribbit, I assume you want to take Sir Ribbit with you, um, and jumps behind the waterfall in the hope that that will mask your scent. Um, you sort of tuck yourself into a little niche uh, between some rocks so that even in the small amount of moonlight that there is, you're not visible from the entrance. And you tries to extract chaos energy to give to friends. I mean, that'll be nice, but it's difficult to do that. Hello, Crow! Thank you for the coffee. I think I need it right now. Can frogs be made into glue? Mm, they're gloopy. I don't know if they're adhesive. Although I seem to remember they have, like, van der Vel's forces on their hands, so they can stick to things. Anyway. Uh, stop going, uh... Yes, you jump into the waterfall, you hide for a while, and it soon becomes apparent as the werewolf is sort of scuttling around that it hasn't noticed there's an entrance there. Can't smell anything because of the water getting in the way. More coffee and cats and things. Angry cat. And eventually the werewolf just wanders off in search of something else, gets the scent of some sort of other animal running around, and as a consequence you are you manage to escape the clutches of the werehound puppy dog. Um, who doesn't have a hand by the looks of it. I forgot about that. Uh, did I give them a hand or paw? They've got a paw now. Shabby glory bits. So yes, they're still kind of nearby, but nonetheless... You've managed to... Uh, thwart their attempts to immediately attack you. Uh, what do you want to do now? You're, in, you're inside the waterfall. It's very dark. Very, very dark inside. Your uh, torch is a little bit wet and as a consequence won't light immediately. Long, they're rather dull, but easy peasy and simple, so good overall. Marvellous. Hopefully once you've uh, everything sort of starts up properly, you can... You can get the things you need in order to continue doing more things at your job and such. Dark? What? Dark? The goblins have dark vision. Uh, not in the world of the Forest of Doom. Because of different universes and all these things.
That's what's missing. Not side bits. I forgot their dark vision contacts. Look, it, they weren't expecting to go on this adventure. Just a dwarf fell out of a bush, died, and now they've got to save the dwarfs for some reason. But I got a hat out of it. And a little frog friend. Miss, what? I'm looking, I'm looking. Eventually, anyway. Well, at least I know what's going to be the thumbnail of this VOD. <laughs> Look at that happy face. Look at that happy face. Um, glad it wasn't at least easy. It sounds like the co-workers are pretty all right. I mean, from from what I hear, they were the, the one that interviewed seemed pleasant, at, very, at the very least. Pretty much it's all the goblins that are innately evil that can see in the dark. Any goblins that are more inclined to be good or neutral don't. I suppose the idea being that the ones who sort of stayed by themselves in dark places aren't social and as a consequence are a bit more self-serving, but the ones who decided to communicate with other cultures spent more time outside and as a consequence their eyes aren't adjusted to dark environments. That's my guess. And if Pal is anything, it's that they, they want to make friends. So, can't see in the dark. Sorry about that. But it's very dark in this place. So let me draw that. Dark? Come on. Well, that's what happens in the absence of light. Sorry. Um, so well, let's draw that. It's just racist. You like the dark and being <clears throat> misanthropic, but you're also nice and care about betterment of all. That's fine. I mean, that, I was just trying to come up with some sort of explanation as to why the the evil ones can see in the dark. Because it's like, I don't know, as you say, dark isn't inherently evil. So I was trying to come up with some sort of explanation as to why in this instance and there's that correlation.
Uh, what's going on? Uh, yes, the bag isn't working. Sorry, hang on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I broke it by trying to fix things. There you go. <clears throat> so dark, you can't see in your back. That's true. Sorry about that. Remind me to fix that after the stream because it's very easy to fix. I just forgot to, that it was a thing. <sighs> dependencies. Programming dependencies and such. So yes, you just hopped into this waterfall. It's extremely dark. Um, you can barely see anything, but you know that the werewolf is still outside somewhere and will be probably be out there until whenever day pops around. Yeah, it's just not hooked up. It's sorry. It's I've moved all of the information, the dynamic information, like your health and your inventory and things like that, into an external JavaScript file, which means that I can update it gradually as things go on and refresh the cache and all that sort of stuff. Um, the problem with that being is that the pointer that I had to find the inventory so that I could regurgitate it to you in chat is just... It's wrong now because it was I've moved it. Um so I just need to fix that. That's pretty straightforward. But yeah, everything's dynamic now, so things should change on the fly. It's a general positive, but there's a slight negative that I did not foresee. As is the case with things that one does not foresee. As I did I didn't see it coming. Kind of get what I'm trying to go with this. Anyway, um, poor pal's going to be very soggy by morning. It's drippy in here. You're under a waterfall, you know. This is probably not the only part where the water goes down. You know, there's there's going to be little cracks in the riverbed further along the way that drip down into down here, which caused the cave in the first place. <clears throat> Let me just turn to some pages in the book and see what's happening. Yeah. Boom. Oh, I haven't got my map up. No, it'll help. Um, cool. Let me get that. Uh, oh, hello, you don't need to see that. Go away. Um, right, there we are. Good. Keep track of things. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> sure. Who's he, what? Who's what? Where, when, how, why? I, I wish I had some sort of construction for this so that I could actually properly shade it. And here we are. This ain't gonna be the thumbnail, look at it, it's a mess. Oops. That's green. That's not eraser. Anyone ever played, um, what was it called? A Scanner Darkly, I think it was called. It was a game where you're in complete pitch blackness in a, in a mine. You start at the bottom of a mine. Um, but you have a scanner and it just fires out lots of dots um, that are, um, are detected on like a kind of visual thing. Um, like a VR sort of headset, as it were, in the game. And you just scan your way through this mine, so you don't actually see anything. You just see a 3D image that you're creating as you go along. It's a very interesting idea for a game. It's also in VR, and I started playing it in VR, and then remembered that there are horror elements, and stopped playing it in VR. Uh, hello, plus zebra three four six five six five. How are you doing? 
Uh, what have we got? We have two for sleep till morning and one for waited out. Okay, cool. So, you're under the sounds of the uh, the waterfall. Uh, Pal rolls out some sort of sheet, probably the, the cape that they have around them, um, and tries to get some sort of sleep in amongst the tumultuous sounds of a waterfall and also trying to listen out to uh, the slapping of the feet, wet feet of a werewolf outside. Um, eventually the sounds of the the werewolf go away, but you nonetheless stay in until hopefully things get a bit brighter and attempt to get some sleep along the way. Um, you don't get an awful lot of sleep though, because slightly further on into the night you hear more slapping sounds, only the slapping sounds now are coming from inside the cave. It's still very dark to see. You are now awake and are aware that there is something in the cave with you. It's approaching daytime, but it's not dawn just yet. Found out how to change your name? You're still plus zebra on my thing, but it will come up soon. That'll be fine. Incident farm together clapping. If anybody's new to the stream, my apologies. Uh, mumble, mumble, dummy thick. No, 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 no. Well, maybe. I've got to draw whatever this is at some point, probably. So, yeah. <laughs> it is. Oh, dear. So, yes, you, you have awoken from your sleep. You feel a little bit more refreshed, but not an awful lot because it's wet and loud. But you are aware that there is something else inside the cave with you, and it's making strange slapping sounds. It's been a while. It's been a, at least a couple of hours. It's Miss. Hello. It's wet and loud. Yes, true. How many fire capsules do we own? Um, I believe three. Because that's what I drew. <laughs> Sorry, I miss. Sorry. You've had a hard day at work. And here we are, making horrible sounds. Let's go shower and do stuff, you'll be lurking. Marvellous. Have, have, a, have a good shower. Well, I sincerely hope you'll be lurking, because if you're chatting while you're in the shower, that's uh, at the very least bad practice for trying to maintain a good situation with your electrical devices. How do we use a fire capsule? Uh, you, you throw it and it... Pfft, like that. It's like a kind of little little grenade -y sort of thing. And it just turns into a little little puff of fire. That's a bomb. It's not it's not strong enough to be described as a bomb, I don't think. But it can it can set things alight. Still not showing your new name there? Uh, refresh the page. I mean, it's not going to be a thing. No, I don't think I can refresh mine. But, uh... <laughs> well, I don't understand everything you say instantly. Look, sometimes people can explain things to me for a few hours and I still don't understand what they mean. Would you allow one to work in this cave? Depends what you want to do with it. If you want to try and set the water on fire, probably not. in a chat with many other people while you're doing things. I mean, at the moment, I'm not doing anything. I'm just trying to work out how to salvage this picture. Um, must be something I can do, sort of. But it's tricky. I literally have, you know... I'm not even drawing here. I'm erasing. <laughs> not, not, not even making a picture. I'm undoing the drawing. Or I'm undoing the, the negative space. I'm double negativing. Oh, there's rings as well. There's shiny rings. Keep 
keep doing that. Yeah, uh, Clip Studio has this weird thing where you can you can choose transparency as a color, which is quite nice. It allows me to do stuff like this. Probably sort of specified some sort of structure to these stones, but uh, whatever. Here we are. Sorry, I'm not reading chat. What, who, what, how, crow, what? You're, sorry you're extra distant slash irky today. I mean, I'm not far off, to be honest. <laughs> uh, -de -de -de. So no, don't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. Again, it, like I, nobody is under any obligation to say anything in these chats. I'm surprised anybody turns up to them at all. So it's, it's nice if you want to interact, but it's absolutely not a requirement. So don't worry about it. It's fine. Scroll up, I'm scroll hang on scrolls, what? Oh what what you were saying? Or oh, scrolling up for the thing I don't know, I'm confused. You said some stuff about this. I know it's very kind, thank you very much. It's very nice. Um Thank you. What time of day is it for Pal now? It's not quite the warm. But the, you, you can tell over the horizon that the, star, the, the sun will be rising shortly. But it ain't there yet. And yet something else is. Just wanted to know you're doing amazing. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Um, you're always very kind. But Oh, uh, we still don't have any votes for anything yet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep noodling. There's no rush. You can take your time. You do what you want to do. This is your adventure. Release the bees! <laughs> you want to hear it from me? Because who, what, who, what? And you said the werewolf's gone now. I, I said you can't be sure the werewolf's gone. And it's not yet dawn. You don't know what we're doing. You're in a cave. It's almost dawn. You're still trying to wait out the werewolf. They might be out there. They might not be. But you do know that there is something in the cave with you. It's very. It's almost pitch black. You had a couple of hours sleep. Ah, the scaling triangle. That's working still. That's nice. Oops. This is probably this drawing alone is probably going to up the uh, the file size of this of this document quite a lot. <laughs> Haji, yay, your name popped up. You're kind of curious to know what's in the cave with us. Well, sneakily peek outside and see if the coast is clear. There's a bit of a slow sort of stream today. My sort of apologies for that. Again, I've talked about being tired from last stream. Uh, what's that supposed to be? Oops.
can't imagine we're going to get an awful lot done. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, so I did glad to see it finally worked. Yes. Hello, Haji. How you doing? Uh, you're digging the chill music right now. Yes, again, as usual, Adrian von Ziegler, if you wish to uh, find their music. In fact, I can link you this precise video, which is playing at the moment in the background. Um, I can do so without also giving you the playlist. There you go. <clears throat> if you wish to check that out. Uh, and if anybody's watching this on the VOD, just uh, accurately type out all of those characters that you see on screen right now. Second October drawing done. Fantastic. And it's not even October. What's going on? We're in a cave. We're in a very dark cave. Um, it's almost dawn, not quite. Uh, we're still hiding, presumably, from a werewolf. It might have gone off, it might not. Um, and we've just woken up after a couple of hours sleep to hear that there is something else in the cave with us, making wet slapping sounds. That's what's going on at the moment. So given that I've just explained the situation to Chibi, who was busy doing more important things. That wasn't meant to be sarcastic, that was actually, you know, this is a silly stream and you're doing good art. Um, hugs her a bit closely. That's, a, that's also a possibility, there's no reason we can't do that and something else. Okay, so we got one vote for hugs the ribbit closely. I don't know why Chibi's vote comes up top. Is it is it name? Is it alphabetical order? Maybe. I don't know. Finish the draw on. Can I pay attention? Uh, can I get a hell yeah? Uh. Whoops. I don't know why I typed that. <laughs> there we go. I probably messed up all of my commands now. Um, I've no idea if you did the good art. It's because you're most important. I'm good for what who won. Anyway, um, I know you did the good art because it's chip art. And did you have you seen the Ornstein you did? It'll be weird if you haven't. But anyway, so we have one vote for hugs to rub it closely. We have one for release the bees. We have one for peek outside and see if the coast is clear. And get out if it is clear. One for peek outside to see if the coast is clear. One for throw a capsule to see what's in the cave. And one for the cave is actually a mouth and the slapping sound is a tongue. Ooh, we're getting all... Is that Star Wars did that? I think also did it in Trapdoor at one point. Uh, you have not seen the Ornstein you did. Well, I recommend you check it out. It's very good. Uh, and it's not even finished yet. It's amazing and it's still not even finished. Imagine how good it's going to be when it's done. Whew. It was in Star Wars, yes. Yeah, I, I haven't... I don't think I've actually seen any of them. I might have seen the Phantom Menace in theatres, but apart from that, I don't think I've seen any of them in their entirety. And I might have said that already on stream, and I think Oob's reacted with indignation. So, right. We have... It seems we want to peek outside and see if the coast is clear. Roll 2d6. Guess you'll find out in about 500 years from now. I'm sure it'll be faster than that, but obviously, you know, you've got a lot of Inktober things to focus on, and you're back at the university, and all these sorts of things, and streams. Uh, that's a nine. Uh, you you peek your head out and see that uh, the werewolf is still outside, still looking around. It seems to have found something to placate itself for a little while, uh, a small animal of some description, but nonetheless it is present. And you probably can't sneak out without it noticing, so... Unlucky, basically. So I gotta make a choice. Do you wanna take your chances with the werewolf or do you wanna take your chances with whatever it is that's in the cave with you? And how? Is that a spell dilemma, isn't it? At least you can see the vote text, which I keep meaning to change the uh, <laughs> the font color of. Werewolf, indeed. Still there, still there. Can you relight your torch? It's been a couple of hours. It's probably dried out. I don't know how you relight it. <laughs> Throw a fire capsule to see what's in the cave with us. I don't know how you'd normally relight it. Probably involving stones and things like that. You can probably find some flint lying around. Get it going. Mm. 
Relight the fire. <clears throat> but I've done two drawings. Because I'm slow like that. Three, technically, if you count the little face. Uh, Powers of Magical Gobbo, but only when it comes to torches. I know, it's we, we never did establish precisely how torches work in this game. I think I said at one point that you can only relight a torch if you sit down and start a campfire and have provisions and stuff like that. But I'm sure you could use a fire capsule if you want in this particular scenario, or whatever, what have you. I'll wave it. You can make a fire, it's fine. Pretty sure in the book they're very loose with when you can have fire and when you can't. Why waste a fire capsule if we can just relight our torch? I know, it's, well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you, vote. Vote with your votes. Oh, I, I, I never did do a, a ditto vote, did I? I? I wanted to set up a thing where if you voted ditto, you voted for who, whatever the last vote was. So it just save people copying and pasting and stuff like that. Or like maybe sort of votes, and then you could like vote vote number as it were. So like vote vote one, and it will vote for whatever the first thing is on the list, or something like that. I don't know. I, try, I want to make it, try and make it easy for people, so you don't have to do too much typing. Uh, regardless, it seems like you want to light your torch. See what's going on. Um, we all up for relighting the torch through inexplicable means. Ah, ditto. No, a little strong friend. Ah, oh, look at them. Them. They're cool. Ditto's a good poke. Um, I need to get back on Pokemon stuff. I haven't done that for plenty of ages. Remind me to do that when I have any time, which is approximately in uh, February. So. Pal, inexplicably, through means unbeknownst to the reader, watcher, or listener, Ignites their torch and walks. I, I, we're in a cave. I should probably have like some reverb. Um, and realizes the torch and looks around the cave. Can't immediately see anything uh, or anything that should be moving. You do see a still pool of water in the middle of this cave, as well as some stone chairs and a stone table on the far side. This is a place where something is living. It seems. Uh, you notice that there are some small scraps of fish lying around the table and chairs. And as you notice that, you notice that the still pool of water in the middle of the room isn't still anymore. And bubbles are coming out of it. And then, apart from bubbles, there comes the head of a thing. A strange creature. I'm starting to read now. Can you tell the transition between me making stuff up and then reading the book? A strange creature climbs out of the pool and advances towards you, armed with a trident. Their legs are like a man's, but their face and torso resemble a large green fish with bulbous eyes. Their arms are like yours, but covered with large scales. It is a fish man! You see a fish man? You got a fish man. Fish man! Da 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 da! Uh, I'll draw this properly because there's now there's light now. I'm gonna blind you all. <laughs> Fish people! Does it have a dongus? Um, there is a suspiciously placed stalagmite uh, covering the offending area, so we will never know. Uh, oh yeah, I've got to actually have a colour this time. <laughs> oh god! Oh, here we go. Fish puns. Fish puns. Uh, why didn't it say it had fins? Fins are easier to draw than hands and stuff.
I'll give him sort of flippery feet. I'm going to do a, a straight up reverse merman, mer- mermaid, merperson, merfolk, merchaps. Merpeeps. Oh yeah, I forgot the reverb was on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll turn that off. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, um, What's the difference between a trident and a pitchfork? Merson? That's good. I like Merson. Merson's good. Who said Merson? I, I applaud thee. Crow! Crow said it. Wonderful. Applause. Uh, right, now I've got to draw... F- Do you know what? I just realised I've been drawing fish people. For SSS, so <laughs> you just do one of those. <laughs> I like the idea that it's a, sort of more of a Be a catfish, also, it's got the little. little dangly bits there. Oh, is that why it's called a catfish? Because it's got whiskers. You never thought that. I'll go the. (laughs) Don't you have work to do? Yeah, I was going to make a remix of that, but I don't have time. So, <laughs> don't you have work to do? Yeah, and teeth. Those are the little teeths. Or big teeths. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, all oh, right, yes. Yeah, we're talking about the, the Secret Slave of Society streams of the Sunken City. Um, yeah, and I, had, I had, had to watch a lot of those in succession for the purposes of comic making. Uh, so that was fun. That was one of those games where I sort of, I looked at it when it was first announced, and I'm like, that's really cool, that's a really interesting idea. And then they said, open world, and I was like, no thank you. <laughs> Thank you for, if you'll pardon the expression, watering down the premise. 
by making fetch quests and unnecessary just things and bits. Mood, big mood. Yeah, I know. It's... I don't know. Uh, I will not draw boobs on this thing. It's lip. Too much. <laughs> For some reason, uh, whenever you're not thinking of anything specifically, Ra Ra Rasputin pops into your head. That's interesting. Okay, so I've just I just thought about the fact that that was made by I think Boney M was the the name of the group that did that, and now I imagine M my character as a skeleton, just singing Ra Ra Rasputin, because why not? There's a drawing to do. I need to do outlier stuff. Ugh, it's been so long. Today, not just in general. Today, you're having Ra Ra Rasputin stuck in your head. Fair enough. Lover of the Russian Queen, whomever they may be. I've got some That's what they look like, isn't it? Sorry, I was just about to say he's got some muscles on him, and then I thought, well, I'll draw muscles. For no reason, and then I remembered, I don't know what muscles look like. So anyway, does M sing? M doesn't speak. Uh, that's, so that's a good point. <laughs> She'll dance to it. She'll definitely dance to it. She does like a good dance. Have I ever heard the song? Uh, I, you know what? I don't think... I've heard snippets of it. But that's about it. You return clean and shaven. Fantastic. If a feeling the person would be a great singer. Uh, question then is this, uh, is it, that is it still, is it friendly? Well, it's still at the moment. Love my visual puns. Look, I have nothing else. So <laughs> you get, you get muscles on the muscles. That's, that's all. That's it. It's the best you can expect. That area up a bit, bit more efficiently. But yeah, so so what I, all I was going to say was um, because I was put off of the sinking city for the open world aspects of it. It's nice for that the SSS were going to stream it because that means that I get to see it, which is cool. Because otherwise, I probably wouldn't have. And it kind of surprised me at the end of the last stream where it's like, oh yeah, this game has a story. I forgot about that. <laughs> just forgot that there was a main story to this and there wasn't just fetch quests. I forgot our character was actually here to do something. Because open world games do that. You didn't know what those were and now pun, yes. If you don't know what it is that I'm drawing, chances are there's a pun involved. Sorry about that. I don't really know what muscles look like. Clammy. One story, not fetch quest. I know, it's... yeah. I've played... having played several hundred hours of Morrowind, <laughs> I'm kind of done with side quests and all that sort of stuff. And probably about a hundred hours of Skyrim as well. If you enjoy games that have both, like there's a story mode and exploration mode, that would be great. I, I feel like that's the ideal, where you've got a good story combined with a good variety of other things to do. The problem is, is that almost always when a game tries to do that, the main story is sacrificed and it becomes whatever in exchange for the massive amount of work that is required in order to make an open world game. Like, I'm not saying that they're being lazy. I'm saying that they've got other priorities. <laughs> um, you can have the story, but first you must bring me three things. Precisely. Bandits broke into the Kwama mines again. <laughs> Oh, 
those things. Um, I don't even know why were they called mines. They were just farms. Like <laughs> they were just farming eggs, basically, weren't they? I'm not gonna lie. The main reason you it's like it's like calling a, a chicken farm a mine. Like it's my chicken mine. It's not what you call it. Like it might be in a cave, yeah. But anyway. You're not going to lie, the main reason you haven't actually played any Elder Scrolls games when you think about the open world and all the stuff you can do, your eyes glaze over and your mind stutters to a halt. That's fair enough. That's absolutely fine. Some people play games because they want to be told a story or they want they want to be taken on an adventure rather than to have to craft their own. If you want to craft your own story, some people will prefer to just sit down and write or draw or something like that. One of your favourite things growing up was restarting Soul Calibur 2 just so you could play through the Chronicles of the Sword and recollect everything for the plot. I don't know what those words mean, but I hope that was fun. You said it was one of your favourite things, so it seems like it. Skyrim's kind of a bad RPG. I would agree. I, I feel like the actual writing and quests and things like that in Skyrim are poor. I feel like they're better in Morrowind. I hear people like Oblivion. I haven't played it too much. And there was one quest in Oblivion I really did like, which was the one where you, you're kind of tricked into becoming a mercenary who sort of takes drugs and kills people thinking they're monsters that was it, it was just an interesting sort of way of telling a story that one i remember that and i don't i didn't get anything like that in skyrim so stairs in final fantasy 7 remake so that's focusing definitely on story skyrim's gone better oh because none of the choices you make affect anything that, that, that's the main thing is if you have an open world you've got to make sure that anything you do in any of the storylines doesn't interfere with the progression of the main plot or any of the other stories, theoretically. You could have it so that it does break other things apart, but then you have to start new games in order to do other things. People prefer to try and keep things as separate as possible, also to avoid bugs and hard locks and all that sort of stuff. Soul Calibur is a fighting game series, but it had a story mode option. Ah, oh, that's cool. Like I had a Thane of everything, the Archmage, the Head of the Thieves, the Leader of the Black Hand, and the Dragonborn, all at the same time, and everyone still refers to you as Outlander. Hmm. Anybody remember Soul Edge? I, I played Soul Edge. Yeah, I had like Voldo and other people whose names escaped me. I want to say Sebastian. It wasn't Sebastian, was it? Um, I can't remember. But yes, I do remember Soul Edge. I had that for the PlayStation 1, was it? Siegfried, I yes, Siegfried, I remember Siegfried. There was also a, a lady with a buckler, who was kind of like the opposite to Siegfried. I can't remember her name. I just remember Voldo. Voldo was just weird. <laughs> it was always the most interesting one, <laughs> apart from the one who actually had the Soul Edge. Who was? I want to. I want to say Sebastian. It was not Sebastian. I can't remember the name. You remember Soul Edge, though you think you only saw an arcade console in the bowling alley and stuff because you were so little. <gasps> We've got a young person. <laughs> he came before uh, yeah, before he became Nightmare and Rock's first appearance. Nightmare... Cervantes, yes! Cervantes. That was the name. Uh, why did I think Sebastian? Um, I think it's just without the I or the apostrophe. Cer Cervantes. As in, like, there's one Cervantes and many Cervantes. Yeah. There was like a there was like a one of the arenas was just on a raft going down some rapids. I seem to remember that. That was interesting. Yeah, Cervantes was cool. He just had a cool sword, or two. Did he have two swords? I can't remember. Anyway, we should be focusing on the story. What are we doing? We have fish person. Um, try to greet the merson and see if they're friendly. If they seem hostile, attack with sword. One throw fire capsule at it. One for plant a smooch and let it blossom into a romance. One for offer it bread. Uh, one for offer it the slippers for the ha offer it the slippers for the halibut. I assume that's a pun on for the halibut. Uh, Soul Calibur on Dreamcast was fun. You liked Voldo. He's a creep. Yeah, it's just so straight. It's combos and he like bends backwards and runs along the floor on his blades. Ah, it's, oh, it's really cool. Siegfried got Soul Legend turned into nightmare. Oh, Siegfried turned into nightmare. Interesting. So you could play as him, but it was wicked hard to unlock him. <laughs> I imagine, yeah, yeah, getting to the stuff like that. He was a double sword fighter, but one sword had a gun in the hilt. Gunblade? My word. So, it seems like we are going to try and greet the Mercen and see if they're friendly. If they seem hostile, attack with a sword. Um, 
Okay. So in the spluttering light of your torch, you uh, pal approaches the mer person, the merson, and says, you know, just a- attempts to communicate, holds out a hand, says hello. Do you want to want to handshake? Do you want to smooch? Do you want to hug or anything like that? Uh, roll two d six. Gib bread. Uh, there was only one vote for uh, off, off of bread. I'm afraid. Um, the mer person quickly grabs hold of the trident and thrusts it, thrusts it in your general direction. However, Pal uh, notices this and jumps out of the way before they can cause any damage. Uh, it seems that the fish person is not particularly pleased about your invasion of their home. Um, definitely agree with the smooch. <laughs> Alas, the smooch would, would not have helped. Uh, so the fish person is hostile. What to do? What to do? Do you run out and deal with the werewolf, or do you stay here and deal with the fish man? <laughs> Dilemma, pack two. What a salty fish person. They might be freshwater, who knows. They're in a li- well, they came out of a little pool, which I didn't draw. Um, so that might be... Uh, and this is a, um, a stream. Then again, it is a stream that was full of blood eels at one point. So here's the, the little, little pond. A little pool of water inside the cave under the waterfall. How do you draw those things? They're like... A crippling pool. Like that. You know? You get it? And then there's like a stone table and chairs or something. I imagine it's relatively primitive. How precisely does a, a merson with quite primitive technology um, create a trident? This is why I wanted to make it lumpy for that reason. Like how, how I can't imagine their forging techniques are particularly precise. And by chair, I mean just basically a rock. It's kind of squarish rock. It's kind of cracks, chips. The dead fish on it. B- 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 blood eels. Yes, we met blood eels early on. Um, I don't have any drawings of that because I change files regularly to make sure they don't get clogged up with data. Look at this perspective. It's wonderful, isn't it? Uh, absolutely 100% accurate. No, no, no guarantee. Terms and conditions apply. This is a good question considering you need fire for smelting. Maybe an underwater volcano. Oh yeah, magma vent possibly. Glad this fish person sees the need for furniture. Indeed. They have fish person needs. They, their, their legs get tired because they're not particularly well suited for swimming. They need to rest occasionally. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> there were stepping stones and you decided to wade in and there were, there were blood eels. And Kiro may possibly have been the only person who wanted to use the stepping stones. It's pre-Renaissance perspective, so don't worry about it. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll draw a cat with a human face as well. Stalactites 
Stalactites are also weird. I just suppose stalagmites are stranger. Thinking about it. And they should be directly under a stalactite, shouldn't they? Oh well. There's more of that. Oh, what did I do? You already did that, Chris, and you gave it six breasts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that still here somewhere? Nope, that's the fryer. There it is. <laughs> that's not a human face. It's fine. It would have been if you'd been part of that stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> that was a subsequent one. With that luck, we would have fallen off anyway. I don't actually know. I imagine there was probably a luck roll. And you probably would have banged your head if you'd fallen off. But you had a helmet, so I would have let you off. It's fine. Uh, we have one vote for throw a file ca fire capsule in its face. One for fight fishman. One for fishes on the menu tonight. Kill it. And one for smooch Lawrence Fishburn. It would be fish Fishburn if you throw a fire capsule in its face. Uh, it seems we have two votes for fight, but only one for throw fire capsule and only one for smooch. So we're going to just have to fight straight ahead, I think. What did you mean by... You may have misread the description of the friar. Oh, because... Um, I, I said... About the, the snake man that was on the front cover that I couldn't find a picture of it. It was just a joke that... I was trying to think of something that could have been the snake man. And I thought, oh, I might have misread the friar description. Because... That might have been the snake man. Etc. That was the joke. Uh, we also have another vote for stab. Late vote. So lots of stab, lots lots of stabs and fights and kills. So I'm gonna have to destroy some stalactites and set up our usual little system of f fighting, fidgeting. It's like fidgeting but different. Um, right. So straight lines. How dare you betray me like this? Uh, what have we got? We have skill and stamina. Uh, we've got Pal over here. Uh, and we've got Fishman over here. Um, what do we have? We have, uh, functionally, we have 11 skill, because our helmet gives us an additional. Uh, and the fishman, which I need to look up. Don't stab believing. <laughs> uh, the fishman has 7. So, the way this works, and has 6 stamina, we have 14. As at the moment. The way this works, for anybody who doesn't know, I literally just closed the page on what we were doing. Let's look for the picture of the fish again. Where's the picture? There is a picture of the fish man in this, but I ignored it. As usual. There it is. It looks more like a frog, to be honest. Um, yeah, so the way this works, you roll 2d6 for you, then 2d6 for the enemy. You add the results to your skill, and whoever has the highest skill at the end of it uh, causes two damage to the opponent, unless you want to roll for luck and double it or halve it, depending on this, the outcome. Uh... Yeah, and you keep going until one of you is dead. Or you can think of something else to do and agree on it. So we have 2d6 there for a 10. That gives us up to 21. And another 10, which gives us up to 17. That's you win. Congratulations. Attack. Uh, having dodged out of the way of the trident, Pal realises that a, a fight is going to ensue. And as a consequence, gets the first swipe. And uh, realises they need to attack above the line of the stalagmites, which is a bit tricky when you're as tall as Pal. But nonetheless manages to get a little bit of a, a, a slice on and uh, causes some damage. 59. Oh, close. Never roll for luck in fight. You can't, it's, it's open to you. It's it's an option. Again, if you, if you roll your luck or under, you get double the attack value, so four. Uh, and if you roll above, you halve your attack value. But you can also do that for if the enemy hits you. So you can halve or double their attack depending on whether you're successful or not. So yeah, you uh, Pal manages to get a swipe off, cuts off one of the uh, the little whiskers. I won't draw that because I like this picture. 
Uh, so there's a 5, that brings us up to 16, and there's a 8, which brings us up to 15, so that's still a successful one. Uh, Pal and the the fish attack simultaneously, and Pal just manages to duck under one of the stalagmites, and the trident thwacks into it while Pal stabs through it. Um, did I say stalag stalagmites? I mean, uh, Pal kind of has the advantage of being able to hide among these little things, or at least sort of dodge through them. And causes a little more damage, scratching at the uh, the legs. Hang in there, Gobo. So you you have a higher skill, so you pretty good chances you're going to win this. Uh, Twenty. Uh, the highest you can roll is twelve. So uh, twelve plus seven would be nineteen. So you've already won that one without rolling anything else. But for completion, you rolled a seven, so that's fourteen. Uh, and finally, you. Yes, you you manage to uh, stab the fishman where where unpleasant things occur, and it falls into the pond, sploosh, uh, and lies dormant upon the surface. And Pal realizes that they've killed a fish person, but it was that or attack a werewolf. So these things happen. But they did so without getting hurt. So congratulations. Cook the fish, person. Um, usually I do like a kind of X's across the eyes, but again, I, I quite like this picture, so. <laughs> or I like the top bit, anyway. <laughs> Don't know what's going on down here. It's supposed to be sort of some sort of perspective, like the foot's coming out like that. That would have been better. Yeah. Oh, I thought <laughs> almost, not quite, but almost the chord progression to this music in the background sounded like Stand By Me. The chord progression for that song. Where unpleasant things occur. Mm. I don't even know if fish have that, but do fish men? Mm -hmm. Right, you have killed a fish person. What, what does Pal wish to do? You're going to turn in for the night? Well, have a wonderful time. Thank you for being here. Uh, and have a good sleep. Stare by me. Oh, that's why it was in my head. Because <laughs> of Crow. I think it was because of Crow. Oh, no, that was Don't Stab Believing. Close enough. Good night, Oops, have a wonderful person. So yes, you are now you're now in an empty cave with a lit torch and a dead fish person. Uh you presume you hope that the uh the werewolf outside did not hear the commotion, but uh it seems they were otherwise preoccupied with the hunt that they had previously. So what have we got? We have a vote for Take Fish Dongus. I can imagine who said that. Uh, we have uh, two votes for Cooks and Fish for Provisions. One for Cooks and Fish for Provisions, because my system is peculiar. And one for Take Fish Parts. Oh, and another one for Take Trident. Uh, wait, maybe not Cook the Fish Person just yet, or Wolfie may come a-sniffing. I'll give you a bit more time to think about it. <laughs> Elu 2, try. Elu 2. Also, we need to organise a time to do co-op stuff. Oh, and I want to do co-op stuff with Chibi as well. Detective game. And find a game that we could do. That would be great. I don't know how that's going to work. We, we need to set up like a kind of voice link. Are we going to stream simultaneously? That that seems fair. Um, friends, co-op stuff. I want to do co-op things. I've done enough crap on my own. <laughs> Do you want Magicka? I, hang on, let me let me check something very quickly before we start doing stuff. Um, because I had a bunch of codes for games, and I don't know whether I had one for Magicka. I want to see if I do. Because if I do, I can, I can give one away. 
Um, uh... No, I don't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Carry on as you were. <clears throat> we're going to figure it out. We want to do co-op. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to work out how... Um, yeah, how to do that. Because I don't know... I don't know what, like, internet bandwidth is like with regards to, you know, streaming at the same time as talking to somebody at the same time as... I don't know. <laughs> Playing the game at the same time as all sorts of things. You want to co-op too, but doubt it's possible? I think you, there are a few games that co-op was available into play between PC and Xbox. That was true. I, th I think we talked about that before. Hope you all have fun. And we, I, I hope so too. And I hope you can join in at some point as well. I want to do Don't Starve with someone because I, I stopped playing that game because I felt like it would be better with playing with someone and at the time had nobody. So that might be fun. Uh, let's look back at what we have here. We have one for Take Fish Donglas, one for Cook Some Fish for Provisions, one for Cook Some Fish for Provisions, one for Take Fish Parts, one for Take Trident, and one for Take Fish Parts for Provisions and Take the Trident. So, there's a bit of conflation here. There's two for Cook Fish Parts, uh, two for Take Fish Parts, two for Take Trident, and one for Take Fish Donglas, which I assume actually counts as a fish part. Um, I want to come up to the uh, just chatting via Discord, let people hear the dis desktop sounds. You stream the game, I suppose so. I don't know. Uh, we now have two for take fish parts, take fish parts, three for take fish parts, four if you count the dongus. Uh, no cooking going on at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so Pal, Pal spends a little bit of time cutting up the uh. The fish, uh, noticing from their extensive time fishing and feeding themselves on what they can find in rivers and things like that, that this, most of the fish part of this thing is not necessarily palatable, and also most of the man part is not particularly palatable. There are, in fact, some sort of poison parts of it, poison sacks in there, and it's very difficult to cut around them. But we do manage to get enough meat for two provisions, uh... Just sort of lying around. By this time, it is uh, dawn has arisen. Dawn doesn't rise, does it? Does dawn rise? It it, it has arrived at the very least, um, and light is starting to stream through the uh, the waterfall, still making a hell of a splashing sound. Palatable, wonderful. Uh, let me update our provisions. So you got a uh, couple? No, not sixty-five. No, six. Thank you very much. <clears throat> there we go. Automatic updates. Love it. Um, <clears throat> right. So yeah, you. It's now dawn. You have disassembled this fish person. You, Pal hopes that this fish person was living alone. Otherwise, whoever returns is going to have a bit of a gruesome sight on their hands. Uh, take poison sacks to poison something in future. We could do that, theoretically. That feeling when you misspell pun. Oh, I've, I've misspelled the and if. <laughs> and is. Is is one of those. So yeah, make fish scale mail. I mean, it's not going to be very tough. This thing only had um, six stamina, so it's going to be... It wasn't difficult to pierce this thing, put it that way. Uh, so do we want... Uh, Try has recommended the possibility of taking the poison sacks. I don't know if you want to. Even with all those muscles. <laughs> oh dear. Take the poison, take the poison sacks. Okay, so you uh, you cut apart as carefully as you possibly can um, some poison sacks from the uh, the head of the fish. Um, you manage to get two small sacks enough to take down something relatively large if ingested. Um, do you typo it as if it is in instead of the word you meant initially? I mean, it's just all over the place. Particularly handwriting. I always put E's on the ends of words when I write by hand. I don't know why. Um, it's sort of like it's like the reflex with the words like blonde and stuff like that, where you can, depending on the context, there's an E or there isn't at the end. Um, <clears throat> usually words with like a hard ending, like if it ends in a D or a, something like that. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so you get a few poison sacks. Let's add those to your infantry. And by a few, I mean a couple. 
so they're small. Um, they're not necessarily immediately, you know. If you throw them on somebody's face, it might not burn it. You know enough about fish to know that they're not, you know, acidic or... What's the word? Uh, blah, blah. I don't know. Like, volatile in some respect. Uh, but certainly if ingested, they're, they're not going to be a great time. Or if, you know, inserted into a wound, they're not going to be a fantastic time either. So you could, you know, coat your blade or whatever you wish with it. Corrosive? Possibly. That's it's closer than anything I came up with. <laughs> we'll go with corrosive. Corrosive's good. So you got a couple of poison sacks. I don't have a picture now because I didn't expect you to get them. All right, you have taken the poison sacks. You've taken a couple of provisions for yourself. Um, I have to remember that a couple of those provisions are meat and not bread. Just in case the story goes, oh, all of your bread caught fire. Uh, was there anything to find in the Merson's hideout there other than the fish itself? There is nothing of interest in the hideout. There is just stone table and chair. Um, presumably if they have anything, it's all underwater. And you look into the pool and you don't see anything particularly there anywhere near the surface. So It's a very deep and dark pool and I think my music stopped. No, no, it's still there. It's just quiet. YouTube is being annoying again. Yeah, there's there's nothing particularly of note in the Merson's hideout, so where do you want to go? Pee on the mangled corpse. We're probably not going to do that. Um, let me get my thing up. And here it is. Okay, cool. So, let's look at the map. We are currently in a waterfall. Um, I haven't drawn the bear trap, so let's do that. Is that pal? No, it's not. Uh, there was a bear trap. The spikes in it. And an angry, angry trapper. Uh, then we moved down and we went into the waterfall. There was here a fish person. Who is now dead. So we were, yeah, we were travelling along. Or, well, we went, we went down here, didn't we? So, uh, where do we want to go now? Do we want to continue heading south? Do we want to go somewhere we've been before? Um, I'll refresh the vote. I wonder how many of these votes have been called now. Is the cave a dead end? The cave is very shallow. It doesn't continue on very far at all. Let me see precisely what the book says. Uh, but uh, there is nothing of use or value in the fishman's cave. Uh, blah, 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 blah. In the book, you head north. Nothing, nothing remarkable, but whatsoever. The cave is very shallow and only cares about pal's looks. Precisely. The pool, on the other hand, is very deep. And wants to know more about pal's uh, life choices and philosophies. So we're currently down in the gorge, or down by the waterfall. What is a gorge? I don't know. Is the werewolf gone? Uh, Parrell peeks the head out and sees that uh, now that dawn has arisen, whatever the werewolf was before uh, it turned into a werewolf has now gone elsewhere, presumably, you know, relieved that uh, it's no longer a wolf. Daylight non-wolf is no longer there. They they have they have scurried off elsewhere while presumably while you were butchering the fish. Truly a werewolf, indeed. It's the fry. <laughs> I mean, the fry was like all the way up here. Isn't it? It's like it's quite a quite a long distance to travel, especially once they found their bell. You would think, if anything, they were trying to find the bell to stop themselves becoming a werewolf, or do they want to be a werewolf? Hmm. Maybe they're a normal werewolf. And they turned into a constant werewolf because of the bell. Mm -hmm. We first heard the werewolf back when we encountered the spider. Uh, yes, I believe. Yeah, you heard heard howling of a wolf. Where was the spider? What was it? Oh, it was there. So, yeah, it's travelled. I suppose it could have 
traveled uh, traveled away. Good good memory. <laughs> I forgot about that. That was yeah. There was there was the howling. That's the fry. Look, I'm not gonna. I I will neither confirm nor deny. So yes, we we have we have now completely exhausted uh, both the contents and the inhabitants of the waterfall cave. Uh, we come out to find, yeah, nothing of remark. Your torch gets wet again because you're trying to leave a waterfall. And yeah, it's now daylight. It's dawn. Dawn rises. Can we go back to the fryer and see what's up? I mean, the friar was just wandering around. It's entirely possible they're not there anymore. They were looking for a bell last time you saw them. Then you gave them a bell. Merge south to the shop tower wizard. Oh, south, south. Got it. Sorry. I thought you meant like kind of like a soothsayer. I don't even know what that... What would sooth be? In that future? Future sayer? Fortune sayer? I don't know. Full sooth! Leave cave, go back to the crossroad and head south. Uh, crossroad. I mean, the, the I I will just for the sake of. There's basically two ways through here, so it's just, <laughs> it's just you want to go over the river or do you want to go to the waterfall? Oh hello, that's the wrong layer again. So yeah, it's just yeah. Which, which way did you want to go? Did you want to go down the waterfall or did you want to follow the river? You couldn't have gone through the river because you were running away from a werewolf, and there were there was no immediate way across the river without trying to wade. Sorry, yeah, I usually do a dotted line to be, this is a, a path not explored, but I did it to go, hey, look, there's a river here. Sorry about that. I use my own notation against you. Cool. It's okay, no worries. That's fine, don't worry about it. And by it's fine, I mean, why am I saying it's fine? I was the one apologising. <laughs> Uh, leave cave and we see the lightning wolf. Uh, we tried that and it wasn't there. Uh, sooth to the shop tower wizard. One for go sooth and one for forsooth. So we're going south, regardless of whether or not we're heading towards the uh, the wizard's tower. We have a path to forge if we want to get there. So we travel sooth. Let me check my notes, which I'm very I'm looking forward to showing you because they are a mess. Uh, <clears throat> hang on, let me. I need to check some stuff to make sure this is actually relevant, or if it's to do with crossing the river, because I didn't actually make notations. Crashing water, blah blah blah. Okay, that's that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, right. So, oh, Kel surprise. <clears throat> Guess what we come across? We come across an exciting, exciting crossroads. It is a north, south, east, west crossroads. Quite possibly the first of its kind that we've come across, maybe. Uh, oh no, there was one there. There was one by the smooch hut. Uh, I th oh, and one here down by the some bones. But other than that, it's the third such we've come across. I need to reset the vote, sorry. Because we still have people saying sooth. <laughs> Uh, what's going to be here? We're, here is going to be, um, I don't know, uh, uh, some dead fish. Because the fishman had to put their rubbish somewhere and didn't want to contaminate the pond that they were living in. So there's just a bunch of fish skeletons just sort of lying around. That's what a fish skeleton looks like, right? I always like to mark my crossroads so that you know where to go. Uh, Woost West... Kira voted west twice. It's interesting. That's probably one one from before I reset the vote. My apologies. Rasputin, what? <laughs> Are you just trying to get it stuck in Chibi's head again? <laughs> well, we have two votes for west. <clears throat> uh, let's go west as our probably our last action of the stream. So, well, actually, hang, hang on. Let me look at see what was at this crossroads. Probably nothing, but it's worth a read. Um, ba -dee -dee -ba -dee 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 -ba -dee. You soon arrive at a junction in the path. That is the full description of the <laughs> crossroads. 
You head to the west. What, pray tell, do you encounter? You encounter. Um, ahead you see that the path ends at the door of a large hut made of dry mud. It has a domed roof and a single window. You peer through the window and see a large man with dark skin sitting at a table in the middle of the hut. He is bare-chested. Of course he is. And is flexing the muscles of his arms. So you come across a little hut with a, with a strong man inside. Where is my bookmark? Here it is. Which I now have to draw. Obsidian skinned man. I mean, probably, I don't know. It says dark skinned. In fantasy land, that could mean pretty much anything. So here's the window of a mud hut. So it's all sort of bobbly and strange. I like round windows. Round windows scream fantasy to me. Unfortunately, it also screams draw a circle. That'll do. Here's a tip. If you want to make a perfectly symmetrical circle, you grab the circle you just had, you make a copy of it, you then rotate it, and try and match it up, and then that, get, that smooths out some of the irregularities. Um... Ideally, you should do that about 700 times, but uh, we, we're, we're on a schedule. So now we do it again. Copy it. Paste it. Make it smaller. We have ourselves a window. Um, do you think it's the barbarian from before, just chilling in his house? I think the barbarian probably has better things. It probably has some vengeance. Um, to be getting on with. For whoever tied him down. Staked him to the ground. To be eaten by vultures. Um, was there any particular description that I need to bear in mind. Apart from dark skinned and muscly. Large man. Bare chested. Uh, let me look further on. So that I can just make sure I don't contradict anything. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything particular. It was the friar! <laughs> Everything was the friar. I think the music... Oh no, the music is going. There's a bear chest, yes. There's teeth and everything. Uh, how, how do muscles... How many times have I drawn things through a window? Over the course of this playthrough. There's a table... Whoopsie doodle. How many times do I say whoopsie doodle? I don't know. Uh, what can make this large man interesting? Um, ah, rock. Uh, you got to run for a work thing. Thank you very much for the rock, and uh, thank you for coming along, and hope the work thing is good. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> We're almost finished anyway. This is pretty much... Actually, we, we won't get a decision as to what to do. This is just going to be the cliffhanger for the day. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for coming along to everything that was uh, significant in the stream. Apart from my ramble at the end. Still need to make the let's get ready to ramble graphic. That's the thing. Um, I don't really draw muscles very often, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, there's like those ones that sort of connect the arm to the body. There's the body, it's torso itself. Um, there's hairy chest. Just that bit, though. Scratchy old jeans. <laughs> not jeans, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, it's not jeans. Vote by Triforce. Aww. Bless. 
just drew a bunch of muscles. Yeah, and I didn't know how to draw those either, did I? <laughs> but I appreciate the pun. Uh, this is not how things work. This is not how perspective works. This is not how proportions work, certainly. Definitely not how anatomy works. Um... Usually, I draw legs too small. This, this Today is opposite day. Or is it? Um, I'm going to give this person a bowl cut. And little spectacles. Blame the, Italians, bleh, blame the Italians for making mathematical perspective the norm. I mean, I can't blame anyone for maths, unfortunately. Apart from myself, possibly. It does look paunchy at the moment, that's not. How do, how do muscles, how, how do strong people? I don't know, I should use reference probably. But I'm I'm stubborn. Somebody fix this. Miss, draw draw a strong person. <laughs> Although I prefer you to draw the fish person, because they were fun. I want you to have fun drawing. Don't want you to don't want it to feel like a chore. Way too happy for being alone. Look, some people like being alone. It's fine. And it's got some. Oops. Yeah, I'm on. there we go. And it's got some trophies. Look like. Strong man trophies. Probably. I should be ending the stream and I'm doing this. <laughs> ah, perspective. We meet again. And there are probably some books or something. Uh, this table's very wonky. Don't worry about it. It's a mud hut. I don't know why he has furniture. Anyway, um, did I just draw Caldwell? Um, sure. Done. Right. Um... <clears throat> If this fish man has furniture, so does the mud hut. True. I, okay, this should be mud furniture. Um, so it's a bit sort of blobby and strange. I'm not going to remember any of this. So you're going to have to explain to me at the end of at the beginning of the next stream why everything is melting. You try making furniture out of mud. It's hard. Well, it's not hard. That's the problem. It's soft. The walls are also kind of goopy. 
Um, right. And that is where we end. We end peeking on a strong man in their house. For that is what happens. Group decision, nobody explained this to me. Oh, that's fair enough. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll work something out. <laughs> the music has ended, so I can play my own music as an outro. Um, well, not my own music, but music that isn't. By Adrian von Ziegler. Who again? Thank you very much to them. Uh, and thank you very much to you for coming along to the stream, which is very kind of you, because you're very nice and lovely. And thank you, uh, Haji. Hello. Welcome. Um, to Strems. Accidental bone trousel? Uh, we, I haven't finished recording that, but uh, I, we, we could do bone trousel. As, well, we played it last time, so we'll probably do something different. I mean, I played it last time. Uh, this was fun. I'm glad you had fun. That's why I want to make these streams interactive and fun and all that sort of stuff. Keep your bone trousers to yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try for something interesting. <clears throat> I have a, a playlist of songs from games and things that I can play on stream. There's 103 songs, and I've got to try and find one to play. R R Rasputin? That's copyrighted, I'm afraid. Um... I'll work something out, probably. <clears throat> I'll get there. What an exciting end to the stream. I haven't even changed to the end thing yet. We're just looking at Chin Caldwell. So let's do that. Let's go here and look at some really cool art. There's some really cool art. Look at that. Make a Ra Ra Rasputin cover. Um, well, like, do it in, like, a proper sort of, like, Russian folklore, folk music kind of style. I can do that. <clears throat> Rah, rah, rad as hell artwork. Indeed. Look at that texture on that fur. It's marvellous. Um, but more importantly, look at that frog. Look at that frog. Something for Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's usually a good one, isn't it? Um, do we want calming or do we want uh, exciting? Ah, stickers. Thank you very much, Hedgy. Love the frog. Good frog. Good frog. Um, so Rivet's fine, by the way. They totally unfazed by this whole situation and didn't jump away during the sleep so that's nice it's a watermelon frog it's a good frog everyone likes watermelon thank you for rock rock is very kind and scissors all we need now is paper do we have anything regarding frogs in response to music rock paper panda i remember that game thank you for panda i do like the panda um Nope, can't think of anything. Um, <clears throat> let's just end the stream. Thank you, everyone, for coming along. Uh, I can move this down here now, so I actually have space to do things. We didn't do much today. I drew four things. <laughs> it's not enormous. Um, although, apparently, I only drew five things last stream. So, what are we going to do? Uh, it's a tie, indeed. Um, yeah, so on Saturday, more stickers, rock hands, yeah. I do like those. You can tell a joke about paper, but they tend to be terrible. And on that note, thank you everyone for coming along. Uh, on Saturday we have XCOM. On Sunday we have Wildcard. Not sure what that's going to be yet. Maybe a game I have a key for that I can give away. That might be fun. Minus 50 XP. <laughs> it's fine. It's not like we're being very fast either. Don't worry about it. It's fun. I get to draw fish people and chat with you guys. Spend half the stream chatting about things that are completely unrelated and then remember, oh yeah, we're fighting a fish person. What do the stickers do anyway besides be cool? I think that's it, really. Um, I think streamers, they get a lot of stickers. They go up in, like, search rankings or something like that. It's not a huge thing. You just get you get sparks by watching live streams and then you spend the sparks on stickers. That seems to be the gist of it at the moment. So, yeah, they're just, they're just a nice thing you can do to, to spam friends. Which is nice. Uh, and you can do that as well. Ah, frog! I can't I can't do a Kermit voice, unfortunately. So, I will not attempt it. And rock! Thank you, Chibi. I like the rock. Rock's my favourite. I've, I've said before, if they get rid of rock, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to Twitch. Um, so, yeah. Have a wonderful time, everyone. Enjoy yourself. I will see you on Saturday. There are streams in between. I believe Chibi Nether's Days is happening tomorrow, possibly. Um, we also have a bunch of stuff on Friday, I think. People were doing things on Friday. 
Uh, you miss Hugbot? Hugbot, yeah. I was setting up a Hugbot in my bot. I don't know if that's still in there. <gasps> Fish! A frog! It's a frog ca catching flies. It looked like it was underwater, so I was confused. That's a very cool one. Definitely Chibi Nether's Days tomorrow. Fantastic. Um, it's a pretty good gummit for a short shout out. Thanks for the chill stream. Thank you for coming along to what what is hopefully a nice chill stream. I'm very slowly coming to the realization I'm not an exciting streamer, but that that's fine. You know, like I, I can't keep energy up over the course of two hours, but that people seem to like the brand of chill that I apparently emanate by saying um every three words. So yeah, and so yeah as well. As we know. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you all for being wonderfully kind people and being here. And those who aren't here and who are watching the VODs, thank you for watching the VODs. And those of you who aren't watching the VODs but nonetheless want to support me, thank you. I know you can't hear this, but thank you. Uh, gonna miss your stream tomorrow, Chibi. You have a doctor's appointment? Ah, oh, that's... Uh, plenty more streams, but don't worry about it. I'm sure things will be fine. And good luck with the doctor. Hopefully things get sorted out. Ear appointment. Yay! Hopefully that will get sorted out. Uh, not everyone likes hype streams. That's why you watch Krendor. It's nice to relax. He's he's got a very like chill demeanor, hasn't he? I haven't watched him for ages. It's like that, that's what I quite like about sort of him being with Jesse Cox. He's like the opposite. He's all energy, and then you got Krendor. Is like, uh, yeah, <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> wonderful. Anyway, GB Nether's days tomorrow. Um, daily streams by Emily. As usual, uh, the drawing Pokemon. I don't know what comes after Pinsa. I thought Pinsa came after Scyther, so that goes to show how much I know. Uh, Magma, maybe? Possibly? Who knows? A bunch of streams on Friday, I think. I think it's Try streaming on Friday, maybe? I think you're recorded off. Maybe Oobs or Weird are streaming Friday. I'm bad at keeping these things. Keeping track of these things. Taurus was posted today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. Don't worry about it. And then XCOM on Saturday, Sunday, wildcard. Creative on Tuesday. Still haven't worked out what to do for that. And then back to the draw through next Wednesday. So, whatever that Pokemon's name was. I think it was Taurus, yeah? Yeah. Enjoy yourselves. Be kind to others and to yourself. Have a good, have a good one. Goodbye.